Welcome back, Troglodytes, to the Trogly's Guitar Show, your daily dose of guitar information. Hey, we've got an update to the Trade Tuesday series already. In case you missed it, Glary sent me another guitar to start my trading series. It was nowhere near as good as the strat we started Trade Tuesday off last season, but I kind of wanted it to be more difficult this time. But lo and behold, it only took overnight for me to get a trade offer. Well, first he offered me $50 cash, but I do try my best to do actual trades. So he offered me $50 cash, but I asked him, do you have any pedals or anything? Because I've never done a pedal review before. But he said he had a holy stain and something called a Neo Mistress. It was a little bit unclear if he was offering both or just one. So I asked him and he said if I went to him up in Michigan, he would give me both of them. And that's a pretty good deal because you could look at the used values right here on Reverb. The Holy Stain, it's going for about 80 bucks used. And the Neo Mistress, yeah, somewhere around 50 to 60 bucks. And seeing as that Glary guitar brand new was about $90, this looked like a deal that I had to go and do. I also got an offer for $100 cash just for me to smash the guitar. While that did sound like a fun video idea, I just couldn't bring myself to destroy a guitar that somebody could enjoy. So here we go. This is Trade Tuesday, the very first official trade episode. I swapped it for these two pedals. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about these. I'm not a pedal expert by any means, honestly, I never even used these things, but it was kind of fun getting to toy around with these. So what the Holy Stain is, is it's basically two different kinds of reverb. You have room and hall, so it kind of just changes how big it sounds. And then you have a tremolo as well as a pitch shift. So this pedal, if you're a skilled guitarist and you can dial in all the individual sounds, it can be a lot of fun. I looked up some of the current reviews online and I thought it sounded like hot garbage. <laughs> but then I actually plugged it in at home and I was impressed with what I could dial in with this. But besides just those four settings, you kind of have some coloring options. So you can make it kind of brighter sounding, dark or warm. I didn't notice like huge differences in between those. It's very subtle. But what's fun is on each selection, you can choose from a clean, a fuzz and a drive setting within that. So you can really dial in some like interesting guitar solo tones with that. And you can also adjust where it is in the mix as well as the amount of the effect can control the volume from the pedal there. The tone I didn't do too much with, but it's similar to a tone knob on a guitar. It just kind of makes it sound really dark. So this thing was kind of fun to toy with. And next we have the Neo Mistress. You know, I wasn't expecting much from this thing, but I had more fun with this than I did the Holy Stain. And that's probably because, you know, this is a lot more simple. You know, on and off, and then you just control the rate and the feedback. This is so I'm going to list these on Reverb. Reverb no longer allows trades on their website. So definitely check out the Reverb listing to see the condition and all that. However, if you're interested in trading me a pedal, a guitar, something of similar or greater value for these pedals, please do so at tradetrogly at gmail.com. So to close this episode out, I'll go ahead and noodle around with these. Not necessarily an official review, but hopefully enough to give you guys an idea of what these sound like. Mm -hmm. 